as many market watchers predicted, the Federal Reserve today hit the pause button on its historic rate hike campaign. For the first time, after 10 consecutive increases, interest rates will hold steady as inflation continues to ease. But we're not out of the woods yet. The Fed also signaled additional rate hikes are likely later this year. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Norwood joining us now with more. Morgan. Yeah, David, you hinted at this. The key word here is for now because this is just a pause. Look, federal officials have been aggressive with these hikes for more than a year, and now they want to take a step back. They want to look at the data and to see how those previous hikes have helped tamp down inflation. After a series of aggressive interest rate hikes over the past 15 months, the Federal Reserve holding off on increasing key rates again, at least for now. We have been seeing the effects of our policy tightening on demand in the most interest rate sensitive sectors of the economy. It will take time, however, for the full effects of monetary restraint to be realized. It comes after new numbers show that inflation has cooled, but still remains at a level double the Fed's target of 2 percent. Inflation numbers were good enough to validate the Fed's stance of pausing from rate hikes this month in June. While the interest rate hikes seemingly helping to stall inflation, prices are still going up for many daily essentials. American households are paying an extra $260 every month for the same goods and services compared to this time last year. For example, a gallon of milk is about $4, 20 cents less than last summer, but a lot more than three fifty two two years ago. And when it comes to consumer spending and hiring, those have remained solid, too, with Americans continuing to buy despite the rise in prices. A jobs report earlier this month showed the labor market added close to 340,000 jobs. But regardless of all those gains, economists don't think we're out of the woods just yet. The fact is we don't see continued improvement on the inflation front and uh, some of the easing in the labor market. If we don't see both of those things, the Fed is likely to be back in the game of raising interest rates. And so on that note, economists say that improvement may not come quickly. They add that it could take a while to get down to that 2 percent inflation rate the Fed has been targeting, meaning more rate hikes not out of the question. In fact, the majority of policymakers are forecasting at least two more quarter point increases.